Welcome back. So we are here at the second to last video. And this video is all about double your sales in 12 months, says who? Obviously we've made a lot of claims over the preceding videos and we wanted to let you know that we have folks that we've worked with that will back them up for you. So this is Mary Beth Kuzmeski. She is a best-selling author, um, a three-time best-selling business author and she wrote about me in two of her books. She wrote, Green is one of the top advisors in the country with an ever-going practice. She, that was in the book, The Connectors, How the World's Most Successful Business People Build Relationships and Win Clients for Life. And then in And the Clients Went Wild, How Savvy Professionals Win All the Business They Want, she wrote about our shock and awe marketing strategy um, that I learned and then tweaked from led my marketing coach, Dan Kennedy, and talked about how you, our shark and awe strategy has generated over a million dollars in revenue just from one idea. Um, Jan Martell, who works with Aptus Marketing. Um, I must say that the Market Domination Program is the very best program available today. It combines the expertise of two business and marketing titans, Dan Kennedy and Seth Green, with strategies that are tailored to today's marketplace and current consumer thought. I have studied and tried many programs and can say that this is the only program which has exceeded my expectation. The presentation was clear, easy to understand, and offered specific strategies that can be implemented right away, rather than other programs which offer only generalities and little in the way of detailed strategies. Also, the techniques described in the market domination program are actually those being used by the founder and many others with proven results. I also believe that marketing strategies are cutting edge, bold, and effective in today's marketplace. They are dynamic and relevant to the current environment. I also like Seth's focus on programs where the results are measurable. He also made marketing fun. As a result of creating a niche, I now expect to build a strong marketable brand, as well as a reputation in the industry specific to my niche. The end result is that I will generate more business with the clients that I prefer to service, and they will seek me out instead of the other way around. Jan, I couldn't have said it better myself. Uh, Lisa Jones was skeptical when we met. Um, she decided that I wanted, she originally came in because she want, we have on one of our other sites and that's, um, and that site is called onlinemarketingbuffalo.com. On that website you can register and we will run you our, the 50 influence engines that we mentioned that affect one of the ways that affect where you're listed in Google and the other search engines. We have a report, an audit, a website analysis that will tell you where your site ranks in all 50 of those relevant to your niche and exactly what you can do to make it better. Lisa came in because she wanted that analysis done on her website, which we did for her. She decided that I wanted to meet with Seth for only one reason, quantify how well I am doing on the internet. Can it be measured and what am I missing? I had nothing to lose, the report was free, and my mind was probably only going to shed a little light. After all, it was free. Seth was going to hold back the real me. I was not expecting what I received. I thought, yes, of course Seth was going to say I was doing only fair, otherwise he would not have any business to do with me. So I'm probably still not off as bad off as this report states. But to my big, biggest surprise, that is not where the report left me, with a fair rating. It gave me in great detail my missing pieces on how to improve my rating from fair to dominate. At that point I had two choices. Do I do all the work or do I hire Seth? Me being me, I thought I would test Seth further. Was I really missing all those pieces? I went back to investigate. I went through the report with a fine tooth comb. I investigated and yes, those pieces that the report identified were missing. I had huge holes in my internet presence. So I started to do the work and fill in the holes and it worked. Within four weeks, I have moved my rankings within Google in one of my largest markets from 10th to third. That is an amazing result by the way. He has shown me that the internet world is so much larger than adding fresh content and pictures to a website. Prospects are all over the internet in 100 or more channels. I plan on using Seth to help me navigate through all the channels to ensure that I'm at the right place using all the right channels every day. This is not ending, by the way, to my journey with Seth. He is still the guy with the business card that says double your sales in a, in a year. I met him November 3rd of 2011, and I can't wait to tell the story on November 3rd, 2012. Thanks, Lisa. Uh, Kathleen F. Um, this is a testimonial for her when she worked at Summit Brokerage. Um, she used our automated telephone marketing strategy, which will leave voicemails for your prospects, customers, or clients for 12 cents a phone call, as many as you want, without you doing any of the work. It literally takes 30 seconds. 
Um, I wanted to let you know how well your ATM technology worked for me. I don't know why I didn't do it sooner. Initially, I was hesitant, not knowing what to expect. However, I took the plunge last week for the first time. My first call campaign was to almost 1,200 numbers scheduled for after office hours at approximately 7.30 p.m. on a Thursday. Make sure you get that. She's leaving messages for people at 7.30 p.m. on a Thursday when theoretically no one is, these are not residences. She's leaving, she is business to business. So she's leaving message for on business phone numbers at 7.30 p.m. Within one minute of the scheduled call campaign, I started receiving phone calls, one after the other. This went on for about an hour. I could not keep up with it. The next day, the first call came in at 6 a.m. By 8.15, the phone just rang constantly. It was hard to hear the person I was talking to due to the distraction from the call waiting beeps. This continued throughout the day with the last call coming at 6.15 p.m. Of this call campaign, there were 60 human answers and 940 voicemail messages left. I received approximately 65 calls in total, of which five were candidates that were ready for what I had to offer. Another 12 seemed very interested who asked for an informational package with a follow-up call the following week. 6.9% of my prospects called me. I am very excited. All in all, I think what I learned from this experiment, aside from knowing that it works, is to not send that many messages at once. It was too much to keep up with at the level of professional service that I want to give. So since that first campaign, I've done one more with a manageable number of 300. There were 240 voicemails left, and I received 16 phone calls today. Needless to say, these folks got my undivided attention, and it looks like there is some good opportunity for more business. Seth, thank you so much for turning me on to this wonderful marketing advantage. If you're not using automated voice marketing, automated telephone marketing, you absolutely have to be. It is the cheapest way at 12 cents a phone call to get in front of your prospects, customers, or clients. Jeff Peters also used our automated telephone marketing technology. After using the automated call process that Seth recommends, I had two clients call within 15 minutes ready to discuss options for their portfolio. Our lives will definitely be easier using this technology. Thanks, Seth, for the tip. Jeff Peters is a financial advisor, and he's using this to touch his existing clients to get them to come back to his office for more help. Um, Gary Alden um, does marketing via seminars. I couldn't make fat notes fast enough. I'm very impressed. I get very good ideas. They don't cost a lot of money. In fact, they should save me money versus what I'm doing now. I used your doctor clothes at one of my seminars. The doctor clothes is something specific uh, that we do for people who market to large groups of people at one time. So if you're presenting via seminar, like you're a financial advisor or a doctor or a lawyer or some type of professional that's in front of crowds at a seminar, the doctor clothes may work for you. I held two seminars the same week. We had 28 people at both seminars. 28 was the maximum seating. At the first seminar, I presented the way I always do, and I got one appointment from that group. 28 prospects, one appointment. Well, one appointment isn't going to cut it. I spent too much money and too much of my time for such a poor result. At the second seminar, two days later, I used the doctor clothes, and it really embellished this time. I then let the attendees give me feedback. It got them participating. I think it really made them think. I then finished with the rest of the doctor clothes. I increased my appointment close ratio over 900% that night. Much, much better results. Thanks, Seth, for coming through again. That's Gary Alden in Kingwood, Texas. Uh, Tom Fogarty writes, I came away very impressed with his timely response and his dedication to getting her done. You have a keeper in Seth. Suzanne Wu is a business golf coach, in addition to being a former professional golfer. Um, I was very flattered that she came to us because she's previously worked with James Malnichek, who is also a student of Dan Kennedy's. And James is someone I look up to and is one of my mentors. And I think James is absolutely phenomenal. So the fact that she went to James and then came to us was great. Um, I asked her, how do you see this material benefiting your business? She said, building a book of clients to get into my funnel for different business golf related programs and coaching. I like the real world advice and you show how you implement things like the Hillary Mailer. That's a separate conversation of our direct mail campaign. Um, Arpana here, Arpana Warren in California is an attorney. She wrote, Seth Green is amazing. He's been offering his time to help me pull together some marketing strategies and his suggestions are great. His advice is sound and I really feel total support from him to move forward in my practice. I am really grateful for all he's sharing with me to grow my business. It's making a big difference for me. Um, Barton Close of Classic Wealth Advisory. I just wanted to let you know how much I've enjoyed working with Seth on my coaching. He's been very helpful, and his knowledge level is exceptional. Uh, Chris Hart of Worcester, Massachusetts. I look forward to working with Seth, well, working with them, market domination, 
to help build my business. They did a great job in attracting me to their service. I'm going to implement targeting my clients better and use differentiation strategies right away. These strategies are brilliant. I cannot wait to tell my group about some of these ideas. Jeff Lehu, Lehu up in Liverpool. Uh, you brought many great and creative ideas in a simple and straightforward manner. I was interested in every minute of what you were talking about. I was very impressed by the explanation and theory behind each marketing objective. I'm looking forward to next month and hope to have implemented two ideas that were discussed. One of the things that you need to realize is that we don't just give you the blueprint of the 133 steps and send you off on your own. We actually do it for you. Now obviously that's going to require some help from you learning about excuse me, learning about your business. But not only do we do it all for you, we have regular coaching calls with you showing you checking on your progress for the homework that we need you to do so we can do our job. And then we have regular coaching calls with you telling you what we're doing and how it's working and showing you the results that we're getting for you in terms of generating new business for you. So a lot of times people will ask, on every coaching call people ask us questions and sometimes those answers lead to additional marketing campaigns that we suggest that um, get implemented that they send out on their own because um, we're doing everything else for them. So that's what Jeff is referring to in terms of uh, marketing objections, marketing objectives and ideas that are being discussed. Uh, boring letters and seminars don't work. This is a great program, works great in building up a client base. Stephanie Tyler over at Merrill Lynch. I think her name changed, I think she got married. Um, I don't know what her new name is though. Uh, George Cox over at Merrill Lynch. Um, I like that the ideas do not require you to take a second job as the marketing director for your practice and gets me in front of more ideal clients and referrals. Because ultimately it's not just about the ideas, it's about us helping you that you're seeing here in these videos. It's about us helping you, us implementing them for you and getting you the business. Um, inspiring and very motivational. I see this program benefiting my practice in more ways than I can even begin to articulate. I love having the ability to leave 800 voicemails in a matter of seconds. Again, that's automated telephone marketing. The handwritten postcards that can be sent via computer are great. And again, that's another direct mail strategy we didn't have time to get into about how you can turn your handwriting into a digital font and then send out handwritten postcards to your prospects, customers, and clients. I see this program, Ian Clark Pounder writes, I see this program increasing the number of ideal clients I work with. It touches my clients more by automating the marketing process. Now you're gonna notice a common theme among a lot of these testimonials. A lot of them are in the financial services industry. That's because that's where we originally started implementing these strategies. Uh, we originally, for the first few years of our coaching pro of our program, um, we only offered it to financial and services professionals. So you'll see a ton of financial services testimonials. We only started branching out to other businesses over the last couple of years. So we've got a whole lot more financial services testimonials than we do of any other type of profession. However, in the last three years, we've now worked with over 50 different professions. So odds are, whatever profession or business you're in, we've worked with someone somewhere in your business or something similar and can share with you how it could work for you, you, you and your business. Uh, Mark Procknell, I switched from my previous marketing coach. Seth brought together marketing and contact ideas with a strategy that looks to be both effective and efficient. Market domination will enable me to be more visible and have a better relationship with my clients. I'm going to start with a newsletter, auto phone contact, and letters and postcards. So again, a lot of the financial advisors, were, some of them were using it to get new clients from targeted marketing lists that we provided to them and some of them were, a lot of them you see were using it to market to their existing clients to get more business and more referrals, which is another great strategy that we can certainly talk about in your automated perpetual marketing funnel. So that's just a small number. We obviously have a whole lot more testimonials from that and a lot of different niches. Um, please stay tuned. The next video you're going to receive is going to be how you can actually get um, all 133 steps implemented for you over the next 12 months to double your sales. So stay tuned and I look forward to seeing you at the end of the last video and doubling your sales in the next 12 months. Thanks so much.